Just now, as I was carrying everything in here to film, I dropped my camera on the floor. So I hope this is filming and it's working just fine. My goodness. I was carrying it on the tripod and I dropped it. We need to catch up for a minute. I've been filming a lot of videos and just not posting them right. Some of them are like, come here, Burn. Here's my sweet baby puppy and my best friend forever. Bernie! So, anyway, I've been filming stuff like Bath and Body Works, you know, hauls and... Oh, I did a Timu haul because I tried Timu for like the first time ever. I got all this stuff for like less than $30. Look at what I got. So, the reason why, I don't know, I want to change some of the stuff I'm doing. For one, over the past year, I have, you know, changed a lot. I have lost like 45 pounds. I have done a lot of, I don't know, self-work or whatever. And, I don't know, since I've changed as a person, you know, I want to change my YouTube channel and stuff like that. I would like to do stuff where it shows you how to save money. Here is my big example of why I want to change what I'm doing. So I was going to do like a Timu haul for my channel. And I ordered some tarot and oracle cards. And these are how they came. These are not real, right? So I do, like they were three or four dollars a deck. And they don't come with little booklets because, you know, they're just knockoffs. And somebody printed these out and put a little QR code on them so you could go download uh, the little booklets. Uh, so I'll just, you, you know, I'm not going to make a big fuss or anything like that. What I'm going to do is use those for my personal use, like to put a tarot card in a journal or to put up in uh, my room to, you know, like strictly personal use. And uh, I'll just buy the ones that I want, you know. Now, what this is good for is there are a couple that I won't be buying because I'm just not interested in ha owning them. Now that I have the like knockoff copy and I can see basically what they're going to be. However, I'm just not going to support stuff like that, right? However, I did go to Dollar Tree, and I don't mind showing people how to save a little bit of money. So I was going to show you a little uh, Dollar Tree haul I got today. So you, from the clips of where I'm painting my plant room, I got this stuff to use on the walls from Dollar Tree, this sheet of wall decals is $1.25. It would be perfect in there, I think. And if it doesn't work in there, I'm gonna use it to decorate some bookshelves. Like, you know, the black backing on bookshelves. And I think that will work really well. Hold on, I gotta close the door and check on my doggy. I'll be right back. Also, for my plant room, I got that to put on the walls too. And I think that will be gorgeous and cute. That's definitely going to go on the walls in my plant room. Did I show you guys my haircut? I got like, I told the lady like six inches, but I think she did like more like eight. But I don't mind because she got all of the dead stuff off. And my hair feels a lot lighter. And it's great. You know, a new start for the summer. My birthday's coming up too really, really soon. So I love my birthday. <laughs> I also wanted to show you guys this. This is at the Dollar Tree for $1.25, and I have no idea whether it works or not. However, I was at Dollar Tree the other day, and there was a lady I was helping. I was trying to help her find furniture polish, just this, and we cannot find it anywhere. So I'm honestly sharing this 
in the video for her. I found some and I'm gonna try it out for you. And if I ever see you again inside the Dollar Tree, I'm gonna show you where it's at. Dr. Dre is a dermatologist and she's on YouTube. The other day I was watching a Dollar Tree skincare finds video and she showed these. There were only two at my Dollar Tree, so I picked both of them up and I'm gonna try this out. I was thinking some of the stuff in this video, I'm gonna show you in a later video what happened with it all. Maybe a month later, because for sure, the plant room will be done. So like, you know, the decals, they'll either be on the walls, oops, they'll either be on the walls in there, or, you know, they'll be on the bookshelf and I'll show you. But anyways, I'll also tell you what I think of this, okay? And the furniture polish. All right, and then, um, you know, I buy these to, you know, if like a dog has an accident, to clean up. And they're $3 at Walmart. So I'm gonna try these and see if they're as good a quality. We'll see. Here's a little lesson. I picked these up too, right, from the Dollar Tree today. And I'm going to try them out for one, they're cruelty free. That's another reason why, um, you know, I didn't want to do the Bath and Body Works haul for you guys because they uh, actually do test on animals, even though their packaging says that they do not, through, I th believe, a third party. Now, I'm not 100% on if it's like through a third party, but I did find that out anyway. This has a uh, cruelty-free status on the back. It has uh, formulated without aluminum, which is important for me anyway. And they smell good. However, I just picked both of these up and inside of this one, the thing was removed and it looked like it had been used and that's really, really gross. <laughs> but anyway, you should check that kind of stuff before you buy things, I guess nowadays anyway i also saw these and i'm excited to try so i will try this one for sure and let you guys know if i like it anyways i found these today and i saw these on uh if you guys watch vivian tries on youtube i love her she does dollar tree videos and she had these one day and i have not seen them at my dollar tree well, I saw them today. I have super sensitive skin and I can only use one type of these sanitary napkins. I'm gonna try these and see if they're any good because like if they are, that's wonderful. I don't know if I'd save money or not, but I'm gonna see if I like them. Vivian Tries also had this on her last YouTube video. I think it was her last YouTube video. And I'm going to try that out too. Ultrasonic face mister. And you don't have to put batteries in it. This is rechargeable. During summer months, this may be really handy. And for a dollar twenty-five, why wouldn't you? So if you see that at your local Dollar Tree, make sure you pick that up. Next, we're going to look at this. Multi-purpose cleaning paste. I've never tried the pink stuff or whatever it's called, but I did see this dupe finally at my Dollar Tree. And I'll try it out and tell you guys if I like it. I like the scent, it smells okay. Next, let's see. Mmm, Herb Rocket Sweet Basil. I have some soil. And then I got this. I've been getting a. Uh, Little aloe plants from my local Aldi. They've been like $2 on clearance. And I've been getting these at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. And giving them as super cool gifts, right? Along with other stuff, of course. You know, just make a cute little gift with an aloe plant. I think that's awesome. However, I saw that at Dollar Tree. And they already have these, I know. Those are whiskey barrel planters. Aren't they super cute for $1.25? You cannot beat that. I'm gonna use the soil I already have, use this, and see if I have basil this summer. Oh, I would love that because I'll just buy some, you know, tomatoes and 
mozzarella at the store. I just moved into this house. I have no room for a garden out there, nor do I have the desire to do something like that. I'm too busy this year. But anyways, I also got stuff to clean out my car. You know, Armor All stuff or whatever it's called is expensive. These were all $1.25. That's lemon scented automotive protectant wipes. Uh, fresh scented automotive glass wipes. So my car will be smelling fresh. And you know, to get the like deep spots or whatever, that goopy gunk, right? I'm gonna clean up my car today too. So that was a total of $3.75 and you probably get Armor All wipes for that much. So I'll try that out and tell you guys how it is. And you know, I'm gonna be trying that out soon. I also got these. These are $1.25 for a two pack of cute bandanas. So why not, you know? I don't know what I'll do with those, but the only $5 thing I got today is this under bed storage bag to put away heavy blankets we're not gonna be using this summer. $5, these are expensive in other places. I'm gonna see what the quality is like and I'll tell you guys about that too. My final little item. Oh yeah, you know what? All this cleaning stuff, you guys go to Dollar Tree and try their cleaning stuff out. Let's save some money this summer together, okay? And then finally, I just got this humongous cool basket. I love the color. It's actually the probably close to the color of my walls in the living room. And not only that, but it's the perfect size for so many things. It's huge, really, for $1.25. So that's my haul, you guys. I had a blast today at Dollar Tree. Honestly, I went in there for painting tape. I walked out with all this stuff, and I also made a donation to the local animal shelter in there. So, you know, I'm going to try to do less of that. <laughs> but I think that's what I'm going for with my channel. I don't have it all worked out yet. But, you know, just like I'm reading a lot of books, like... Uh, Becoming Bulletproof by Evie Pompora. She was the first female Secret Service agent. I'm reading a lot of Mel Robbins books. She's a, I don't know, she's a New York Times bestselling author of the Five Second Rule, which I came across and I really enjoyed. And, uh, you know, I'm going, well, let me put it this way. I didn't read that book. However, I have that book and I'm going to read it. I came across a video of her talking about this five second rule and I tried it and it worked well for me. So that's where I'm going with my channel, I believe. I'm going to go toward, you know, hauls still, but like let's save money. Let's work toward goals, right? Let's uh, do healthy eating hauls. I've never done a food haul, right? And, you know, let's do like, I'm also doing a little project where I'm going through different like people's cleaning methods because like I go through these, okay, tell me if you're like me. I go through these little spurts of where I'm like cleaning the house and then I get so exhausted I just let it go and then I'm cleaning the house and when I'm cleaning too I'm also like everybody else has to help me right now and you know they get kind of like Bleh, about that right so I just you know I want to come up with a system that just like works for me and not even worry about them just be like if you're in this area where you know I'm managing it this is how it works and this is how it's going to be and whatnot just set it up that way anyway that's a little project i'm doing and i just want to go toward that you know like self-improvement uh you know saving money uh whatever i'm still formulating these ideas however oh yeah and also i'm keeping my bullet journaling content even though I don't make much of it, perhaps I'll make more of it because I still do that. I love bullet journaling. I'm not doing it 
in my regular bullet journal. I'm doing it in the one that I carry around in my bag all the time, so I don't know how I'll cover that and, like, uh, tell you guys about that kind of stuff, but I did want to share what was happening in my plant room because, you know, this old house, it's so cool. And I do love sharing, like, how we're transforming it into our own home uh, for our family. Even though we do plan to move, uh, we would like to live more in the country, have a, a piece of land all of our own to do some things with that we have plans for. However, while we're here, we'd like to share it with you because it is really cool to birds that are nesting right outside the window on our house. That's awesome. The way the colors that we've chosen just uh, melt into each other from room to room. I love it. And I hope you guys do too. I hope you guys like the way that my content is going to transform. And I hope you enjoy watching the way I transform. If you want to follow me along on this journey, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys again next time. Bye-bye.